We immediately head to Auburn where we say hello to head coach Brian Harson as the Tigers get ready to open up another season. Coach, thank you. I know uh, you had a lot to do in preseason. The, the season is here. And uh, how are you doing, first of all? Well, we're doing well and uh, ready for the season to kick off here. And uh, you know, the guys have been working very hard since January, really. So we're just excited to get things going and looking forward to this first game. Coach, uh, you made some news uh, earlier in this week with uh, the announcement of a starting quarterback. Everyone always speculates on that. I know that was uh, one of the top priorities. Help us uh, better understand how you, you and your staff reached the conclusion that you did. Yeah, we'll go all the way back to January. And you know, we brought some guys in and created a competition for that position there. And I thought TJ from last season, you know, he got a chance to play. And then just the things he did really from January on um, to improve himself. And it was knowledge of the system. It was him physically, um, all the things mentally that you have to do as an experienced player to improve yourself. It showed up in spring practice. And then I thought in the summertime he took advantage of that and that carried over into, into training camp. So uh, the improvements that needed to be made from last year, uh, he's been able to do that. And I think the competition really brought out the best in him. Robbie Ashford's you know, continued to improve and get better. Zach Calzada, who's played, came in here and, uh, and provided a lot of push at that position. And all those guys are still improving and getting better. And, and then our freshman Holden, you know, having the chance to get him in here as well. So I think just that alone really helped TJ push himself to keep improving. And I've said it before, I think TJ has got a great understanding of what we're doing. He's conceptually uh, very sharp when it comes to football. It can pick things up quickly. And so that's just carried over day after day to where he is right now. And I'm excited about him going into this game and just what he's done from January to get to where he's at right now. Coach, I know, I know uh, no coach wants to be disrespectful to any opponent, um, but do you feel like with the first two games uh, coming up, you have a chance to at least look at more than one quarterback. How do you plan on, on, on administering uh, the, the number of quarterbacks that you have available? Sure. Well, you know, really for us, and I, and I think this football team, the mentality that, that we're really creating here is, is really our standard, uh, regardless of opponent. We just really have to focus on ourselves. Uh, we have a lot of respect for Mercer. We watched what they did in their last game, but it really comes back to us and how we execute and operate really everything we do, uh, all three phases. And, you know, we'd like to see some other players get a chance to get in there and, and take advantage of playing. And not because you know, we're ahead or things like that, because these guys deserve it. And, you know, they're, they're going to be freshmen that are playing. There's going to be other players that get in the game. Uh, and that's one of the things that we want to see early on, uh, because those guys have deserved the opportunity to get out there and play. And um, how can they help us in the future throughout the season? So. It's really built in, uh, regardless of who we're playing, just so we can get guys on the field and let them play. And then that's the reason why they're here. Everybody wants to play. I think we've had guys do some really good things. And so we're looking forward to getting some of those fresh faces on the field and, and seeing what they can do. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.